All right, tonight I gotta go uh, out to Jersey in the office. I just took this for another run because I had to go on the highway, and uh, I absolutely love this bike on the highway. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use the XR totally 100% because the the problem with the XR is really not good on the highway. Oh man, this thing's purring. But like I said, the um, the KLR is an awesome, awesome highway machine. No doubt about it. I mean, I know compared to like other bikes, but obviously if you're driving on the highway all the time, like freeway runs, you know, you're gonna you're gonna want something else. But definitely for for your basic uh, everyday freeway use this bike is is pretty damn good I mean pretty hard to beat especially with the suspension and everything and the problematic roads in New York this bike will give you exactly what you need when it comes to uh, your basic issues with New York roads because the problem with New York roads is the, the road conditions are really bad and the, you know they'll shock you sometimes like the, the size of the potholes and the, the issues that you see in the roads here I'll turn the heated grips on yeah so I have um, a Lex exhaust on this and I replaced the um, I put a um, Eagle Mike raising link in, in this bike to give it a better stance but it's pretty good with the raising link because now the bike doesn't sit funny you know when you're when you park it because uh, the problem that I used to notice with the KLR like when you when you park it it would sit, it sits too upright. Whereas the the Eagle Mike raising link raises the height of the bike to give it a better stance when you park, so it has more lean to it. That's that's what what's good about it. Like if I put the kickstand down now here, see it lean. The bike leans proper, you know. It it'll throw you off a little bit the first couple of days of using it though, because the the problem is the the raising link will throw you off because you're not used to it when you lean the bike over. It'll feel like the bike's going to fall over, but it's actually good to go. I got my gloves on because it's cold tonight. I'm heading over to Jersey. Oh man, see? Traffic is always messed up here. But yeah, definitely, I like that that um, Eagle Mike Racing Link because it raises the bike up about an inch, which is fine, you know, for me. And uh, I didn't ever found the KLR to be too high for me, but definitely on the um, the XR, you would not want to raise the height of the bike. I mean, that's that would be too much. If you raise the XR another inch, uh, that would be you'd be towering. It would be too 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 much. But this bike. Uh, uh, Raising the XR, raising the KLR a little bit on its on its height gives a. I've ha, I've had like a lot of uh, people, you know. I've had a lot of YouTubers tell me that they don't like the the height of the KLR, the way that it, the stance that it has when you park it and you put the kickstand down. Everide said that about the uh, the KLR, and I started to notice it too. Like 
it's too upright. Like it's, it's it, it almost looks as though it's about to fall over. But I think they did that because the KLR is a big bike, and they didn't want people leaning over too much. Maybe not putting too much stress on the on the kickstand bolt and all that stuff, and uh, you know just leaning over too much. Like like the 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 XR leans over quite a lot when you when you put the kickstand down. But you know it's all relative. The Eagle Mike link does not raise it too much where the bike is uh, where you have to like lug it over to get it upright. It just it just puts it just right, you know, so that the bike has a lean, a proper lean to it. That if you're parked on a little bit of an incline or something, and you're leaning the wrong way, at least the bike's not going to fall over. Because the problem is the way the KLR is stock in stock form, it's literally about to fall over if you park it on a little bit of an incline that's leaning in the wrong direction. But the KLR is a heavy bike, so if you if you are leaning it over too much, it does. You can feel the weight of it. Wow, it's a nice nippy night. I got the uh, heater grips on full now. Yeah, this thing is like the king of the fucking road, man. It's, it's so different than riding on the XR. The XR is basically a street legal dirt bike. But this thing is a fucking beast, man. It definitely commands respect in New York, though. Without a doubt, you can see like people react differently to this bike than the way they do to the XR. And as it's getting cold now, I'm starting to realize that there was like a contemplation on my mind that I could do everything with the XR. I'm, I'm 100% sure I can because this thing has so much better wind protection. You know, here we are on a cold October, November night. And you can feel that this bike is really keeping the wind off of me, you know. With this windshield and then the fairings on the side. I can barely feel any wind on my legs. You know, look at, if you look at my pants, we're just a little bit of wind on the outside edge, but that's about it. And what I notice about the KLR too, like in inclement weather, like if it's drizzling or something, you actually stay a little bit dry because you don't get that water in this center chest area. You know, if obviously if you're going slow speeds, you're gonna get wet, you know, but if you're cruising along this kind of speed and it's raining, you're keeping all that wind off your legs, off your chest, everything. All that rain, that drizzle, is going to be off of you. And in the, at the end of the day, that's really what you want. But the KLR definitely commands respect as far as weight, too. Like, you really can't lose sight of the fact of the weight of this bike. You know, the, like, my neighbor, when he went down on it, like, the chain popped off on the on it. I don't know what he did. I never had a problem, but I did have 12k miles on the chain. And he said he was trying to start the bike. I have the kickstand safety switch disabled. He did say he was trying to start the bike with the with the kickstand down, and uh, you know the chain was just pulling away. Like he must have like stretched the chain out or something. Uh, you know while it was in gear because he parked he likes to park the bike in gear and I told him not to do that but he's so used to it you know it's a creature of habit that you know when he got to work he put the bike in gear first gear and parked it but anyway the chain popped off on him and he dropped the KLR over on the 145th, 145th Street Bridge. He went down, and uh, so a couple of firemen tried to help him out, and they were just like, "Holy shit! How much does this bike weigh?" You know, when they were trying to pick it up. And uh, yeah, I think the KLR will definitely throw you off on its weight. You know, when you're driving it, it's fine. 
you know you don't you don't feel it and that that extra weight keeps the bike more planted too you know there's a delicate balance of uh of an adventure, adventure bike if you make it too light an adventure bike too light you're 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 you know upsetting that balance of weight with, which keeps you planted so you don't want to do that with you know you want to be certainly planted like in cold weather going around the turn like that I would be a little afraid on the XR because it just doesn't have that weight for the bike you know Fucking does the job on the TW Bridge. 